I'm pleased that GI Monthly Service Mission to Korea and America has been joyously formed under the leadership of Bishop and his wife. It is indeed grateful that it has been done with some of our local service performance this month as well, as it was not possible for a long period of time due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Speaking of the pandemic, all of us must have pondered over what God the parent intended to teach us through the unprecedented uh, disruption. I'm certain that many of us have reflected upon the fundamental roles of Yoboku during these difficult times. Personally, I reconsider the significance of the mind of sincerity expressed in the Kakisage. I'd like to share some of my thoughts on this topic with you today. May I just have a kind of attention for a while. The Kakisage, as you will be aware, is a text is given to new recipients with two of the Sasuke when they attend the post festival lectures. It teaches a fundamental mindset that should be maintained by those who have received the truth of Sasuke and aspire to spread the teachings in their communities. In other words, the Kakisage is a dependable guide for Yoboku in performing roles in daily life. In particular, I'd like to note that Kakisage emphasizes that maintaining a mind of true sincerity in the course of daily life is a very key to receiving God's free and limited workings. Let me quote the following passage from the Kakisage. I quote, daily and always, I say daily and always, sincerity alone. At first glance, people may think that mind of sincerity is weak, but there is no, nothing firmer or more enduring than sincerity. Sincerity alone is the truth of heaven. Because it is the truth of heaven, I accept at once and give a return at once. This is the truth. Understand this well, unquote. I'd like to seek a the intention of God the parent expressed in these passages so that we may settle the mind of sincerity in each of our minds. God the parent teaches us so long as we lead our daily life with totally sincere mind at all times, God will always with us and that we have no need to be afraid of anything in any situation. The phrase people think, may think that mind of sincerity is weak is likely addressing the, the image people may bring to mind when they hear the words mind of sincerity. When we look at the world around us, it almost seems as if kind, honest, and sincere people are being pushed to sidelines while those who might be described as aggressive and malicious are swinging their weight and shoving their way to the top, even by stepping on those beneath them. Thus, it may seem as though people with the mind of sincerity are being pushed aside by those aggressive people. Though things may appear that way to us, God the Father assures us there is nothing firmer or more enduring than the mind of sincerity. God then teaches us that sincerity alone in the perfect accord with the intention of God the Father, since it is the truth of heaven. Sincerity is promptly accepted by God the Father, and the people with the mind of sincerity guaranteed receives God's blessings. The Kakisage Father states, I quote, One thing more, if there is a truth of sincerity alone in the mind of each of you, complete harm will come to your families. The one truth will settle. Now, the world will be convinced. Those will be convinced others we have free and unlimited workings by your unchanging truth of sincerity alone. Listen well, unquote. These passages teach us all of us who follow the path must first settle the truth of sincerity alone in our own minds. Then we should set about showing others how to do the same so that every family may achieve harmony and that world may be blessed with realization of the joyous life. Goes on to say that people who constantly make the truth of the teachings of self apparent by the way they lead their lives receive great merit because God the parent accepts their unchanging sincerity. To further grasp essence the mind of sincerity, I'd like to ask review the chapter eight of the Doctrine of Tendikyo. In, in the chapter entitled, On the Way to the Final Goal, we are taught. I quote, a way of life striving tirelessly for the salvation of others in the manner of divine model of Asma, 
our words, thoughts, and actions never vary, and our eyes always fixed on the truth, may appear to others at first glance as being weak, but there is no firmer or stronger way of life, as time will tell, since it is based on true sincerity, the mind which communicates directly with the heart of God the parent, and which is therefore readily accepted." Unquote. Father, we read, we read, quote again, when our minds are settled with the truth of sincerity, we shall be filled with strength and joy, which will never diminish. Nothing ever said against us will cause us concern, and we shall be able to make progress joyously and spiritedly. A, a state of true sincerity is reached by each member of the family. Complete harmony will prevail the household. Thus, true sincerity radiates a positive influence on others. And just, and just as one, thousand, one, one way calls for thousands more, true sincerity will impart vitality to a great number of other minds." Unquote. It may be safe to say that these lines describe the mind of sincerity or true sincerity based on the passage that in the Kakisage, which I have just shared with you. Those of us Yoboku should seek the way within ourselves in which our words, thoughts, and actions have unified our core. Outwardly, we should demonstrate the teaching and make them self-apparent by, way, by the way we lead our lives. By so doing, our sincerity will make a positive impact on the, on the people around us. More importantly, we should engage in salvation work for others with the mind of sincerity so that we may help them progress from the mind that wants to be saved to the mind that wishes for others to be saved. Now, I'd like to mention a few examples set by our predecessors uh, who exp uh, exercise the mind of sincerity. When it comes to the mind of sincerity, many of you, I believe, think of Izo Igui. As you know, the offer by Izo to donate a shrine in appreciation of his wife's recovery from post from post-childbirth complications, transformed into a plan to build a place of worship. The plan was enthusiastically received, and followers quickly acted to bring the plan into reality. Thus, the construction of the place for the service began in the summer of 1864. Most of the followers, however, became estranged from the path as a result of Oyamato Shrine incident that followed ceremonial rich, ceremonial rising of rich beam on October 26 in the same year. After the incident, Izo said to Shuji, Oyasama's eldest son, please do not worry about anything. I shall take responsibility for completing the building. Being faithful to his words, Izo diligently continued to work on the construction of the place of the service. This is well described by the following divine direction. I quote, 38 years ago in September, we began the building of a temporary place for the service. Although it was only a minor project, it was indeed fought with difficulties. We encountered difficulties, and everyone who was helping disappeared. Think how it was when the carpenter was left to carry on, all, carry on, all by himself, unquote. In relation to Izo's sincere attitude, we read the following story in the anecdotes of Oyasama, the founder of Tenrikyo, who quote, Once Oyasama said to Izo Ibri, Izo, open your hand. She had three unhurt grains of rice in her hand. And when Izo opened his hand as requested, Oyasama said, This is early rising. This is honesty. And this is work and placed them one at a time in the palm of his hand. Then she continued, hold these three firmly in your hand. You must try not to lose them. Izo adhered to this teaching for the rest of his life." Unquote. Accordingly, we see that Izo always uh, cultivate mind of sincerity by having his words, thoughts, and actions never vary in dedicating himself to implementing what Oyasama had taught him. Moreover, I consider that he would never forget deep emotion and gratitude 
he had on the day when his wife was saved by the summer. In addition to seeking for the mind of sincerity within ourselves, I mentioned earlier that we should exercise our mind since out, our sincerity outwardly for those around us by engaging salvation work because we are also taught that mind of saving others is real too of sincerity alone. Here, I'd like, a, I'd like to touch upon an example, Shina Okamoto, who was requested to take care of a baby for the Imada family who had difficulty in nursing him because of the lack of milk. Reading anecdotes of Oyasama, quote, unfortunately, Shina had no more, no more milk of her own by then, so she could not accept this other child. They declined saying, we are very sorry, but we cannot take the child. But please, couldn't you somehow take care of him? It was repeat, repeated plea. Being at a loss for an answer, Shina said, then let me first ask Oyasama. She ran, returned to the residence at once and was received by Oyasama, who said, no matter how much money you may have or how much rice you may have in the storehouse, it cannot be given to infant. There is no greater salvation than to take care of all and raise another person child. Yes, I understand, but I don't have any milk anymore. Should I undertake to care of a child even then? Shina inquired. Then there was these words from Oyasama. If you just a sincere desire to take care of the child, God will give whatever is needed because gift is in the hand, omnipotent hand of God. You need not worry. Hearing these reassuring words, Shina resolved to rely on God completely. So she told the mothers, I will take care of the child. The child was brought from Shoji village at once. Shina was astonished when she saw that him. He must have been fed only on rice water and sugar water. He had been one month premature and was not a little more than three months old. Skinny, without strength even to cry, just barely able to whimper. Shina embraced the child and tried to nurse him, but milk would not flow so soon. The child became peevish and bit her nipple. She was worried for a while because she did not know what to do. This continued for two or three days, and then, marvelously, the milk began to flow. Thanks to the milk, the child grew stronger day by day and became quite healthy. Later, Shina took this robust child to the residence. Oyasama embraced him and rewarded Shina with these words. Shina, you have done a good thing. Shina personally experienced the truth that one can receive God's blessings by obediently following Oyasama's words. Shina was then 26 years of age, unquote. When it comes to salvation work, perhaps many of us tend to think of going out for mission work and administering sasuke to those who are ill. In case of Shina, I'm certain that she felt a great deal of responsibility because she might endanger the life of the baby. I also think that she was desperate to nurse him, forgetting about herself. Strictly speaking, however, she did not directly do salvation work for the baby in the sense many of us may expect. She breastfed him with a sincere desire to have become strong and healthy. What I'd like to stress here is that the basis of salvation work lies in your work's sincere desire to help those in need in any way possible. After all, we simply pour our energies into helping others be saved. It is God the parent Oyasama who saved them by accepting our sincerity. It is also God the parent Oyasama who wants to help one another to lead a joyous life. There should be many, many ways through which we can help others be saved, in addition to admission sasuke to those who are sick. We should leverage our respect, talents, and skill sets in skill sets to sincerely help those in need. If you are a teacher, for instance, you may help others with your teaching skills. If you are an auto mechanic, 
You may help others with your mechanical skills. What is important for us is to look around and examine the needs of people around us and try to create uh, the connections with them. Then we should find out what we can do for them and proactively take actions to help. What we can do may be small, but these small actions accumulate. Such sincere actions taken by each yoga guru will certainly lead to the salvation of others and eventually to a joyous life. I also believe that a sincere willingness to help others is essential in our respective professional situations. If we perform a task by sincerely thinking of people who are receiving our services, we will not only help them to fulfill their needs, but they may also be touched by our sincere attitude and services. Above all, God the parent will be watching our sincere attitude. Please allow me to share an experience my older son had when he was working as a paramedic for the last fall to the end of January uh, this year. As you know, Los Angeles County was one of the worst areas in terms of COVID-19 transmission rate, particularly in December and January. He transport, transported COVID patients to the medical facility almost every day. Paramedics are usually notified the patient who have possibly experienced COVID symptoms before they responded to the scene. One day in January, my son went to the house of the patient and found him suffering from shortness of breath, high fever, and coughing. So he, was, he had not been notified in, in advance about the patient's symptoms. It was obvious to him that the person was in serious condition, suffering from COVID-19. Though he took the patient to the nearest hospital, he was not treated immediate, immediately because no beds were available for him. The patient went into cardiac arrest in the hallway of the hospital. My son, without hesitation, began to perform CPR on him, despite the fact he was only wearing an N95 mask and not a gown or goggles, which was personal protective equipment worn for potential COVID patients. I often told my son that as Yoboku, he should offer a prayer to God the parent or Oyasama when he treated patients in critical condition. I'm not sure if my son prayed for the patient at that time, but he was surely trying to revive the person, forgetting about himself. Unfortunately, the patient did not survive. He did not receive the proper care and treatment uh, by the hospital staff quickly enough after his cardiac arrest. Nevertheless, I believe that God the parent accepts my son's sincere attitude of trying to help revive the patient using his skills. Now, I'd like to go back to the point I mentioned earlier, which is seeking for the mind of sincerity within ourselves by aligning words, thoughts, and actions with one another. Indeed, it is easy to say, but difficult to do. How then can we bring ourselves closer to aligning words, thoughts, and actions together? During the COVID-19 pandemic, particularly when it began last spring, I'm sure that many of us felt that we had taken a number of things for granted and realized that the, the ordinary was in fact extraordinary. You must have found joy, for instance, in having dinner together with your family members and being grateful for that. You must have a fine joy in spending a day with everyone in your family with safe and well. In other words, we could perceive the blessing of God the parent with gratitude. Likewise, we could truly understand that we are kept alive each day by God the parent, and that our bodies are things lent by God. Here, I'd like us to ponder over the following verse from the Ohiyasaki, I quote, so long as you remain unknowing that the body is thing borrowed, you can understand nothing at all, unquote. When our, our heart is filled with joy and gratitude, we tend to express them through our words and actions. The more we have joy and gratitude, the more likely our words, thoughts, and actions in accord with one another. Nevertheless, 
you need to consciously and practically find joy in our daily life because life is not entirely a sequence of agreeable events. In fact, it may even seem to consist of a number of undesirable or difficult times. In addition, maybe in our nature to forget. Even if find joy is something ordinary today, we will easily forget that joy tomorrow. More than a year has passed since the COVID-19 pandemic started. We wonder how many of us still continue to feel joy and gratitude in the same manner as we did a year ago. We need to keep remind ourselves constantly of the truth of a thing then a thing borrowed, the most fundamental teaching in our faith, so as to be conscious of the complete providence of God the parent. In closing my sermon today, I'd like to quote the following divine direction from the Osasis. The quote, if there is even one person in a country who has a truth of sincerity about who is part from that source, I tell you, unquote. Thank you very much for your kind attention.